So my wife and I watched this movie. It's called The Lost Husband. I know, I know, it sounds like a Hallmark movie. It's not. It's actually one step above a Hallmark movie as far as quality. But it's just, okay, it's three stars. And you're thinking, yeah, it's three stars. It's got a name, The Lost Husband. Of course it's going to be three stars. You work with the hot farmer? Hear me out, though. It didn't have to be. The story has a few twists at the end. The acting wasn't bad. There's just some bad shot choices. In fact, I really think the whole problem boils down to the editing. And as an editing teacher, I spent the entire night telling my wife about how badly this movie was edited and how it didn't have to be that bad. It could have been a four-star movie, not a five-star movie. I'm sorry. But a four-star movie for sure. You work with the hot Farmer. We're going to talk about all sorts of fun editing concepts and we're going to do it with demonstrations and I'm excited and it's supposed to fall under fair use because it's a critique so we shall see how that goes. So here's the plot in a nutshell. Her husband died. Pretty tragic. She was living with her mom, got sick of that, now she's living with her aunt. She doesn't know her aunt except when she was a kid because her mom and her aunt argued a lot so they never really talk. So she's really getting to know her aunt for the first time. It's just after Danny, everything kind of just got away from me. and It's hard to lose your person in your whole life in a year. <laughs> I really appreciate you inviting us to stay. Also, there's a really hot guy on the farm, but he's not quite available either, just like she's not quite available yet. You work with the hot farmer? Yeah, I know, I know, it's a Hallmark movie kind of thing, but just hold on with me. You sold the previous scene, take the farmhand's truck to the feed store, which is a ways away. She has trouble getting into the truck. She's not used to old trucks. And it's cold. And where are the keys? Okay, there are the keys. And she knows how to start an old truck. And then for monetization purposes, I can't put this song in here, but she hears some French song and she's like, that's weird. This guy listens to a French song. Now, I can understand why you would leave this in the movie if that was an important piece of information, but it's not. Just trust me. The fact that he has a taste in music that sometimes involves French music is really just never brought up or talked about again in the movie and you don't need it this whole little section here you don't need and honestly we're not learning anything new about her character we're just watching her get in the truck and drive off and so now here she goes it's like every single student film ever is just watching people get from point a to point b and she drives She's finally there. Now, here's where the scene actually starts. So she pulls in. Here's the establishing shot. There we go. We see the feed store. We see her. Now, this is really important stuff. So here, you can see she's frazzled. She's upset. She's fixing her hair. And she's going to put on a smile. So there she goes. She's smiling. Her hair's down. She's looking like she's all put together. And then we see her... I don't know what this is. We're just kind of wasting time now. Okay, we're back to the plot. She's grabbing what she needs. And she's going to struggle to carry everything. And it's a, kind of a symbol for what she's doing in life. She's struggling to carry all of her stresses and her worries right now. This kind of lets us see into her brain a physical representation of how she actually feels and she struggles with the receipt and the weight of the product she's carrying. And in this part, she's just buying boots because she needs them. All right, and now she's navigating a store she's never been in very well. She's carrying everything. Continuity error we're not gonna talk about. Then, oh, she gets everything up. Okay, now we're back to actual part of the scene. We can't cut this character out. She's actually important later. Oh, hi. hi. That's awkward. This whole thing's awkward. But not in, like, the way you want it to be awkward. It's just these. Oh, yeah. Right. The actress has to continue to remember to put her hand up onto the feed to show off her ring. You married? Oh, I was. Hmm. Divorced then? No. Mysterious. What happened? He's just gone. Gone where? How much do I owe ya? 
That would be... 48, 25... 60. So, like, gone as in dead? She's insulted and doesn't really know how to handle that information. Hold on, long shot there. She's coming out, she's sad. This is good stuff. This is character development. This is this is the plot and the story at the same time. This is good. Alright, and now we're back to just her driving. She's looking in behind her, she's backing up. She's not about to wreck into anybody. There's no plot. There's no story. She's just leaving town, which I assume she would do at some point. Now we're seeing her drive, but here she pulls off the road. We're back to plot and story, which is happening. And we see her cry, and we hold on her crying. And that's okay. You can watch her cry. Let yourself process that emotion with her. Let yourself understand what just happened in the previous scene. Give it a second. Don't rush it. All right, so we're going to recut that. Just these. Oh, yeah. Right. Cool. Okay. You married? Oh, I was. Hmm. Divorced then? No. Mysterious. What happened? He's just gone. Gone where? Oh, yeah. That would be... 48, 25... 60. So, like, gone as in dead? Wait, your change! <laughs> So another job of the editor is to decide when to give and when to withhold information. And here's a scene where some of her former friends are talking about her in the bathroom. That was so sad. Ugh. What is it about her that is so irritating? Her husband dies in a car accident and leaves them broke. Mm. I went to her estate sale. Y'all, don't judge, but I bought every last piece of it. <laughs> now I have play sentence for 24. That's amazing. Kind of good thing I'm popular. <laughs> There's no way she's sleeping with a lot farmer. You don't think she's lying? Hello? She looks like she's wearing a Halloween costume. <laughs> she's like a lumberjack. Do y'all think I need Botox? What? Right you're here. beautiful. No. no. You still look so young from yeah. the last time. Thank you. Let's go. I love it. I'm way behind. Huh? You see at the end here where she comes out of the stall and it all punches at one time. You realize that all the nasty things they were saying about her, she heard. And you're watching her process that. She's looking at her outfit and she's thinking, do I really look like I'm wearing a Halloween costume? And it hurts her. It hurts her pride. It hurts how she feels. And it makes her question who her friends really are. And you get all of that delivered in one strong punch. Here's the deal, though. It's not actually how the movie edited it. That's my re-edit of it. I'm sorry I gave you that one first. Here's how the movie edited actually does it. She walks in the bathroom. She hides in the stall. She's crying already. And then her friends come in. 
and you see every single reaction to everything they're saying. And there's no build-up, no payoff, no suspense. It's all immediate. Everything they're saying, you immediately get her response. And I just feel like that's just a waste of a good opportunity to have a presence of, of a, of a buildup of stress. Like, wow, these girls really hate her. Oh my gosh, she heard everything. Instead, you're just getting, wow, these girls really hate her and she's hearing everything. Like, it just is a less interesting way to tell the story. Just because they shot it doesn't mean you have to put it together that way. And you don't always have to watch someone drive from point A to point B or walk from point A to point B. I think we better go sit down. So a couple of takeaways is don't be afraid to hit the delete key. Always be thinking, what's the motivation for a shot? Is there story? Is there plot? If there's plot, then it's fine. Is there story? Then it's fine. Is there neither? That's really, really bad. I usually do videos about editing tools in Vegas Creative Software, but if you want more videos about editing principles and how to apply them in your work, just let me know, and I would love to see what I can do about that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.